Hey guys, welcome back to Brandy Shirley TV. My name is Brandy, and today I'm going to be starting a work week with me vlog. So today is actually Monday, January 27th, I believe. And um, today I don't have to go to work, but I am about to go to the gym really quick. PSA, I know you guys can probably hear my voice, and I'm probably going to be sniffling through this vlog, but I am, I don't know, I guess I'm sick. I don't know what it is. I think it's just my asthma flaring up, but that's what's going on so um hopefully it won't be too annoying and hopefully really by tomorrow is gone because i do have to go to work the next three days um so yeah i'm hoping that it just resolves itself but um yeah i'm about to go to the gym it's about 12 o'clock i definitely slept in a lot later than i usually do but um you, you know when you're sick it's just it just is what it is um so yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. I just wanted to start this vlog off really quick. I already know this is going to be like a super long vlog. So y'all just get y'all whatever y'all like to eat. Get y'all something to drink and just relax because I'm a chatty patty and I'm very long-winded. Um, and this is just going to be like seven days worth of me doing this. So yeah, um, I'm actually about to go. I just needed to grab my AirPods for the gym. And yeah, I'm about to go. Um, do a little workout. I have to run a couple of errands. I have to go to UPS today. I have to handle some other business regarding my car. Um, pick up a couple of things. Thank goodness I already have lunch prepared for probably the next two days. I'm not really sure if it'll make it to day three. Um, but I definitely have the next two days worth of food done so we don't have to worry about that right now and i also when i come back i also have to do some laundry um because i have to wash all my scrubs so yeah tomorrow um, i'm actually like almost home now I'm about to go home get me a little protein shake probably make some eggs and all of that and then um go to ups drop this package off and then go down to enterprise scratch that I'm gonna go home shower put my clothes in the washer so by the time I get back they just need to be dried yeah go home do my laundry put my laundry in the washer go down by UPS and then go to Enterprise because Enterprise is probably gonna take up the bulk of my day I do feel a lot better now that I've went to the gym I feel like some of my mucus has drained a bit but i am going to if y'all didn't know i do have asthma so like around this time when i have like a dry cough like the cough that i have now is usually just my asthma flaring up so what i'm going to end up doing is um taking out albuterol mdi um i took one earlier this morning and it's been about four hours since so i'm going to take another one and um also, I'm going to get some nighttime Alka-Seltzer so that um, I can sleep a little better. Because last night, you guys, I tossed and turned all night before I really fell asleep. I don't think I fell asleep until about 3 o'clock in the morning. And granted, I'm already on night shift schedule, so it's hard for me to go to sleep at a decent time anyway. But I was actually really tired, and I just couldn't go to sleep because I could not breathe. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to get some nighttime Alka-Seltzer, and hopefully that and the albuterol duo combo helps me feel better by tomorrow by 11 because I have to go to work and honestly you guys I advocate this all the time like your health is well like definitely I mean of course it's not that big of a deal for me to call out but if I don't feel better by t tomorrow night I don't know if I'm going to be able to go in and I don't I don't recommend anybody stretching yourself thin for any job because we can drop dead tomorrow and they'll have someone to replace us within two weeks so um, I don't feel bad about calling out if I need to of course I don't want to because I want the money <laughs> um, and I don't want to leave my team short but if I'm not feeling up to par I can't I won't be able to do quality work anyway um, so yeah you guys this is a long clip let me get in the house. I'm pulling in right now, and I'll see you guys a little later. Okay, guys, so I am actually back in the car. I feel like this whole vlog, I've just been in the car. Um, so I, of course, went home, showered, changed, got a protein shake. I did some laundry, and now I'm about to head out to UPS. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to Enterprise, but we'll just see how my energy 
my energy level is because right now I don't know if you guys can hear it but I'm just super tired and just I just feel drained um and I'm just ready <laughs> to get in a bed and go to sleep um half of it could be because I didn't go to sleep until super late because so I could like actually be tired um but I believe like how I'm feeling like my sickness um, and then also my fairy godmother came to visit me today. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm thinking all of that is just playing in a part and just why wow, I'm so tired. So I'm about to head to UPS. I sat at home for about 2 hours. <laughs> Contemplating on, should I go to sleep? I was just literally just sitting there like fighting my sleep. And I was like, you know what, Brandy, get up because the day has already passed you, like you got up super late and now you're getting a super late start to things. So just trying to get the ball rolling with certain things. So yeah, I definitely have to take this package back. Um, I got it from ASOS and I actually need to tape it up before I get there because y'all know UPS charges you to use their tape. Did y'all know that? Cause I didn't. I'm trying to put y'all in a good place. I didn't know UPS charged you to, to use their tape. I was like, what? Y'all don't have none that I can just use real quick? And they were like, no, like, the only tape we give to the customer is this priority tape. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, yeah, we have some tape over here for, for $4. And I was like, that's the cheapest tape y'all got. Like, yeah, girl, it's the cheapest tape we got. Uh, so I had to take it. So here's why I have my own little tape room. I'm gonna try to fight going to sleep early because I know then in turn I'm just gonna be up all night. Um, but I mean, I'm going to work tomorrow night, so it's really, I mean, this is really not the time for me to try to rectify my sleeping schedule. <laughs> like, it's too late. The damage is already done, and I'm about to be right back on this schedule tomorrow and the next two days because you're going to go to work. So, um, night shift problems i guess do you guys like night shift or do you guys prefer days me personally i did my orientation on days um and i will say it's definitely a lot more hustle and bustle than at night um but i i honestly don't feel like i learn any less or i do any less at night of course like certain things we don't do excuse me we don't do at night because really we're trying to let the patient rest like if they've been on an SVT during the day we want them to rest because maybe they've been SVT to excavate the next day or um we really just want them to rest like that's our goal um I don't really see a lot of aggressiveness at night unless it's that unit like a fast track weaning unit um but other than that like we're just letting them rest but I still don't feel like I do anything less than the people do during the day because um as soon as five o'clock hits um the day shift providers come in and they're ordering things like a mini bal they're ordering um abg gases like things like that i'm and even though like those things happen like throughout the night anyway that's when it's more um that's that's usually when it happens for me at least at my job like either they're ordering at seven or eight for a mini VAL or when five o'clock rolls around, um, they'll be ordering ABGs. And so usually what I'll do is for my four o'clock rounds, I'll talk to my providers if I have more than one and I'll say, hey, are y'all wanting an ABG um, on this patient or um, do you want to make any changes to um, any of our patients? Just things like that because I know that they're coming and I hate when I'm <laughs> thinking that like everything's done. I get done with my five o'clock round, I mean my four o'clock rounds and then right at six o'clock, 6.15, um, they're putting in orders for like an ABG. Um, just because they just got that report and now they're about to start their plan of care. You know what I mean? So, um, that's why I usually ask. But, um, I do like the night shift just because I feel like it's a lot more laid back. Um, it's less people there, of course. Um, family members leave. Sometimes they stay. Um, providers leave. I mean, a lot of staff leave. Um, so it's really just a lot more quiet, a lot more laid back. And like I said, really... The goal for the most part is to let the patient rest um, and or like we'll be making minor changes, but we're not doing anything drastic. Now, like I said before, it depends on what unit you're on because we do have a fast track uh, cardiothoracic unit in my hospital where no matter what time they come out of surgery, they want them to be extubated. 
um, within six hours. So it doesn't matter if they come at one o'clock in the morning, um, the end of the shift, it doesn't matter. As soon as they get there, the, the clock starts and we want them to be extubated as soon as possible. So you're being really aggressive with the settings. You're being aggressive with the SVT. Um, it is little to no sedation. So you get some patients that are agitated um, or some patients that are still just overly sedated or not overly sedated, but they're still sedated from um, the surgery that they under that they had. I'm glad to say underwent. I don't think underwent is a word, but um yeah, so unless it's like a unit like that, I um, I feel like we it's more so resting the patient. So let me know what y'all like. Do y'all like night shift or do y'all like day shift? Now, when I was on orientation and day shift, I felt like it was go, 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 go. But they also, I also could have been feeling like that because I was a new grad, fresh out of school, and it may have just felt like go, 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 but it really wasn't. You know what I mean? So anyway, y'all, let me go. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I'm in my PJs. We're about to lay it down in a bit. Um, I just washed and deep conditioned my hair. So this is my hair with no products in it. Um, here, I just thought I'd show you guys my hair because I feel like I haven't worn my hair um, in the last couple of videos that I've had. So um, here's my hair. Oh, I remember when I started my channel, I had like my blonde tips. And like y'all, when I got rid of that blonde, like my hair literally went back to normal like my curl pattern wasn't the same it didn't um take products the same it didn't do anything the same um when i had my blonde in and as soon as i got rid of it even though it was just on the tips as soon as i got rid of it it was like my hair just came back to life so um my mom is actually about to blow dry it out because i do want to try this um but i leave it like that <laughs> i do want to try this um flexi rod set thing um, but I want it blown out. I'm going to wand curl it. And then I'm going to put flexi rods in it. So it can just be like a big poofy curly look. I've never tried it. So I'm hoping that I like it. But if not, since it's blown out. Since it'll be blown out, I'll just be able to um, put it up in a ponytail for tomorrow. And I don't go in until 11. So um, once I take it out in the beginning of the day, if it's not up to my liking, then I will change it. But yeah, you guys. Um... That's pretty much all I'm going to do tonight. I think I'm going to just end this day here um, and just pick up tomorrow morning when I wake up, go to the gym, go to Enterprise, and just start from there. So, good night. And good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning, and it is 1030 in the morning. So, I'm about to head out to the gym. Um, I'm already dressed. I have everything that I need right here. I have my ID in here. I have my AirPods. I have my lip gloss, which is just all the essentials I need for the gym. My water bottle is already in the car, so we're set to go. Um, it's going to be a really quick workout because I'm just working out my arms. My arms are pretty weak, um, so I don't go too hard on them as hard as I go on my legs. So it's going to be like a really, really quick workout. Um... So yeah, um, so the agenda for today is to go to the gym, um, and I'll probably do abs just because like, yeah, I should do some abs. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go to the gym, um, come back, shower, eat, of course. Then I'm going to head down to the Georgia Composite Board because I'm actually applying for an out-of-state license. I'll tell you guys about that later. Um, and then I'm going to head down to Enterprise. So um, I'm happy that I woke up a lot earlier than yesterday because I just feel like I have, I still have the day ahead of me, you know, without feeling like I'm rushed or just feeling like, you know, I slept the day away. Um, and I also feel like a little better than yesterday. Well, I feel a lot better than yesterday. Still not 100%. I'd say I'm about 80% like back to my normal self, but it's still like the stuffy nose and um, I slept a lot better yesterday, I will say that. So scrubs are done um they, they they're clean um my lunch is still there so yeah i have the day to pretty much run errands without worrying about what i'm going to eat and if my scrubs are clean so let's go to the gym and i will see you guys later. hey guys so i'm back home i did my hair do you guys like it it's just some wand curls and um yeah this one's like really loose but 
we're just gonna just leave her alone um yeah you guys like it i like it it came out exactly how i wanted it to be um <clears throat> not really sure how i'm gonna sleep on it but we'll worry about that later on um so now i'm about to just go run some errands i'm about to go to enterprise and make sure they get my car right and then i'm gonna go down to the georgia composite board and drop off some things so um yeah let me put my contacts on because it is so sunny out you guys i think it's like 60 degrees outside right now so um georgia has just been so bipolar with the weather like earlier this week excuse me yes just yesterday actually it was like 30 degrees outside and now it's like 60 i don't i'm not complaining but i don't get it so hey guys so Clearly, I suck at vlogging. Um, I forgot to vlog. I forgot to just pick the camera up and check in with you guys. But I am at work, and I've been at work for a couple of hours. It's actually 3.08 a.m., so I'm about to start my 4 o'clock round soon. Um, usually, if I have an ICU, I start my rounds about 30 minutes before. Um, I know at my hospital, I'm not sure if it's this way at every hospital, but at my hospital, we're allowed to start our rounds and give medicine medicines or medications um, as early as an hour before and um, an hour later. So if I have four o'clock rounds and I have like a four o'clock albuterol treatment due, I can give it as early as three and as late as 4.59. So I usually like to start around 3.30, especially when I have ICU, just because it's just not practical for me in my mind for me to start at four o'clock and expect to be done an hour later. Like it's just, it's just not how it works out. <laughs> so, um, but since I have floors, I may just start actually at four and um, do my rounds like that. So, yeah, I only have floors tonight. I have two floors and they're extremely light. Um, I don't know if I said this, but I am cold med tonight. Only have one cold med. So, pretty quiet night so far. The night's not over, so knock on wood. I hope it doesn't get crazy because I said something, but yeah. Um, Pretty good night tonight, I can't complain. Just getting home. Well, not just getting home. I actually done, I've actually done a couple of things already. So when I get home, I usually, first of all, I usually like to be in bed and sleep by nine o'clock. But that's just, that that didn't happen today. Um, and it's okay because I got a lot of things done. But I usually like to be in bed by nine o'clock. Um, and then I also, in the morning before I go to sleep or do anything, um, I do like to pack my lunch, so I just have like some chicken parmesan here. It's really chicken mozzarella because we I didn't I don't like parmesan cheese. Um, so I pack my lunch. I usually always bring a coffee with me, iced vanilla coffee. That's my favorite. I'm also gonna bring a yogurt, and then already in my lunch bag I have some granola bars and a banana, um, and that's pretty much gonna be my lunch. I don't really I usually don't need more than that that's a, more than enough to hold me over for the night um also i went and bought some nighttime alpha seltzer plus so that this stuff can knock your girl out so i can go to sleep and finally breathe really when i started this vlog i was so sick and i'm like way better now i say right now i'm about 90 percent but this alpha seltzer plus honey this alpha seltzer plus is not about to play with us okay nighttime i'm about to take these and knock out so i just wanted to check in with you guys all right you guys so i'm in my room and i just wanted to quickly show you guys how i get my scrubs and stuff together so this is usually what i do first of all you guys know the vibes this is a vanilla coffee flavored candle y'all already know if i don't do anything i'm gonna burn a candle and turn on my little fairy lights if that's what they call them they're really christmas lights but Y'all know the vibes. So, anyway. <laughs> I showed this in, like, my, like, Get Ready With Me Nikki video. I don't even know if I private it or not. But this is what I do. I put my scrubs right on the corner of my dresser. Um, I have my undershirt, um, bra, panties, compression socks, everything ready. So that when I get up in the morning, all I have to do is take a shower and put it on. Because if it can make me late for work, it will make me late for work. <laughs> it's sad to say but that's just who I am like if it if anything can make me late for work it will make me late for work so I just have to set everything up for me so right now my lunch is packed my bag is already good to go as in like my purse already good to go 
um, and my scrubs are here. So literally all I have to do is get myself up out of this bed, take a shower, do something with my hair, and get out the door. It's just going to be that simple. And that's really what's been working for me. I seen like some like get ready with me videos where like they wake up earlier and they like pack their lunch and they do this and they do that. Girl, I cannot do that. The only thing I really have the strength <laughs> to do is get up and take a shower, put my scrubs on, eat a little bit and go like, I can't, I can't do the extra. I'm not super woman. Your girl be tired after a 12 hour shift. Um, so yeah, y'all. It is probably closer to 9.45 now, if not already 10 o'clock. So, I will see you guys when I'm getting ready for tonight's shift. Um, this is going to be like my actual shift, so tonight is going to be a lot busier. Hence why I'm really stressing why I'm not asleep yet. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm kind of getting some bags. We're not even going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. I'm about to get in the shower um, and go to sleep. So, I will see you guys later on. Hi. So, I did not vlog last night. Last night, we were, they, they said we were two and a half short. I'm not sure who the half person would be, but <laughs> it sounded like we were three people short, and it definitely felt like it. So, um, and of course, I didn't like pick up the camera and vlog before I went to work, but last night was just super busy. Um, I had like a Q2 treatment on a patient. And yeah, so your girl was busy. Um, of course, she was in the ICU and she was really, I'm gonna just leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't wanna violate HIPAA. So yeah. Um, so right now it's 4.30. I woke up a little earlier because I was trying to make an attempt to make food. I'm really not sure what I wanna make though. Um, I'm definitely gonna eat before I leave. I usually always eat something before I leave, even if it's something simple like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or um, just some eggs, but I don't have like the meal, like an actual like like the big entree meal. I don't have that for today. <sighs> so I don't have lunch today, basically, and I'm trying to avoid eating out. But I do have a Chipotle gift card that I may just have to put into use today, and then tomorrow on my off day, I'll be cooking for the next three days, and I'll go pick up things that we need i'm also going to refresh my back curls before i leave um last night i was in the um trach unit so usually when i'm in that unit i like to pull my hair up but i was like mm, like they still look so good like i don't want to put it up in a ponytail today i'm just going to refresh these curls in the back um and just do that and then also yesterday because we were three people short basically i knew that i was going to be working and running and i just didn't want my hair to sweat out so i just put it up in like this little crazy ponytail and just called it a day but today the curls are back i'm just going to refresh the ones in the back and um yeah that's really all i have planned today before i go to work um my bag is already packed my scrubs are already ready um yeah, you guys, so um, do I need to update you guys on anything else? Today is Thursday. I have one day off, which is Friday, and then I come back to work Thursday, I'm sorry, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, and then I also picked up Monday at eight-hour shift. So clearly I like to overwork myself, but it's all good because I'm going to be going on a cruise February 10th, so it's all good. Um, hmm. Uh, maybe I'll just sit here and talk respiratory with you guys. So, um, so far, I really like my job. I like being in respiratory. Um, it's definitely a little different than what I've learned clinically, just like, um, not clinically, but in school. Um, it's, it's a couple of things that we learn in school that we don't apply clinically just because we know clinically this is the best way to go, no matter what, um, you know, textbooks say unfortunately and y'all will learn that um when y'all graduate or maybe y'all have already graduated and y'all have learned certain things but um yeah I really like it so far it's not too too different it's not like oh my god we're in a completely different profession but definitely some things are a lot different than um what I was taught in school um and that's okay that's how we all learn that's how we build clinical skills so um yeah I like it so far my hospital is super busy 
So um, I remember when I was in school, I was like, yeah, I want to be in the ER. I want the hustle and bustle. And now that I've gotten the hustle and bustle, I'm like, let's let's tone it down a notch. Like, I'm kind of tired of beating my feet. Like, of course, I'm here to help and do all of that stuff. But your girl be tired some nights. And I'm like, it's because I had X amount of bits plus a floor and everybody was critical everybody was hypoxic somebody was a cold med they went to my unit gave me more work just things like that so um but honestly like it, it it's just it's just how the game goes honestly i can't even i can't even complain about it because that's literally the hospital for you everybody comes in everybody is sick everybody needs help um i will say I'm about to go upstairs and just like refresh my curls real quick while I'm talking so I'm not wasting time because your girl is good for being late. But um yeah, so I um I have run into like a couple of issues just with nurses. Like I feel like some nurses they kind of want to be RT assistants. It's like mm, like let me do my job, sis. I went to school for this. You know, if we have a patient that has COPD, now this textbook, 88 to 92, I stand firm by because every literature that you can find will support this. 88 to 92 saturation is fine for a COPD -er, okay? I mean, I'm not here to argue, but I'm here to stand firm on it. So I'll have like a nurse, they're like, yeah, like his saturation was only like 90, 93. So I bumped his oxygen up and I'm like, why would you do that? Um... 93 first of all is fine like he's not going to be 100 percent. he's not even out the 90s or they're not even out the 90s we don't need you going gung-ho on the oxygen and knocking his um hypoxic drive out his, his drive to breathe out we don't we don't need you to do that because now it's going to be oh his his respiratory rate is only is only 10 what's going on I, maybe because you turned them from two liters to sixes maybe that's why um so yeah that's or i have like nurses they'll be like oh um you know, the patient um, is calling for a treatment. And, you know, when I first started, I was like, okay, like, you know, I'll come and I'll assess the patient and I'll figure out if they need a treatment. But just because of how heavy my assignments always are, and I mean, this is just for the whole the whole team, um, having an ICU and having a floor, I, I've learned to, like, really get the information from the nurse or from the clerk before I make my way down there. Um, and it's not me wanting to not come. It's me getting all the information I need to gather before I do come. So a lot of times the nurse or the clerk will call me like, yeah, they just need a treatment. And I'm like, okay, for what? Why? And they'll be like, oh, I don't know. He just said he needed one. Well, that's not a good enough excuse, sis. Is he short of breath? Is he tachypnic? Um, is he wheezing? What's going on with him? No, he just needs um, a treatment. That's not, no, mm -mm. that's not, that's not it. Um, that's not a good enough excuse and I will not be coming to give that PRN treatment because that's just not a good enough excuse. Would you give your patient, um, a Percocet because they just said they wanted it? Or would you make sure that they have the symptoms to receive that Percocet or to receive that Advin or to receive that Dilaudid? Would you? Okay. Exactly. This is my favorite. This takes the crown. And after this, I'm going to curl my hair because I realized that I couldn't, I couldn't sit it down because I'm not decent right now. Um, and curl my hair. So this is going to be the last thing before I go. Okay. I had a patient, I had a nurse call me about a patient saying that they needed a PRN treatment, right? Saying he was wheezy. He was dropping his saturation. First of all, if they're wheezy and, and just so in distress, as you say, when I walk in the room, you need to be in a room too, because it sounds like this patient's about to be a met. It sounds like this patient's going down. I don't need you to be in a break room, chit chatting with your friends. If you're saying he's desatin. If it's true that he's desat and he's wheezy, he's he's short of breath, I'm on the way and call the Met. Let's get the whole gang here, okay? So she's calling me. This is, of course, when I was newer. I'm still very new, but this is when I was newer. So I'm like, okay, I'm on the way. I go in the patient room. First of all, no apparent distress. Okay, cool. Looking at him, no increased work of breathing. Okay, I listen to him, no wheezing. I'm like, hmm, put the pulse ox on him, he's fine. I said, you, did you call for a treatment? Like, I'm double checking. Like, did you call for a treatment? Because it seems like you're fine. He said, no. My dick hurt. What? Did you call? <laughs> I'm like, what, sir? Huh? I was like, I didn't. You said, 
did you did you did you say your penis hurt? He said, yeah, I did hurt. I was like, okay, I'm finna go, cause you know, let me get your nurse. That's my favorite line. Let me get your nurse, cause I can't. I'm from here up, sweetie. Really lungs up, but you know, trick here. I'm I'm really just from here up, sweetie. I can't help you if your penis hurt. So I go and tell the nurse who was just chilling at the nurse's station. I didn't even know that was his nurse. She's like, oh okay, oh okay. I thought he was in distress. I thought his saturation dropped. What happened? Oh, okay. Did you just not want to go in there? That's what I'm getting. So, yeah, you guys. That's that's really, I mean, if anything, that's really, <laughs> like, the bulk of what I've learned is just to get information from people that are calling you so that when you go in, and it sounds so, like, of course you need to get information, but it was things like that that I missed where, I felt like I was running all day, like giving PRN treatments or just going to see patients who really didn't need to be seen. And, um, you know, kind of getting in, kind of, kind of coddling these patients and getting them into a habit of just calling respiratory for a treatment if they have CHF saying that they feel short of breath and nobody's explaining like, hey, you have CHF or, hey, you have, um, you, you need to be um, dialyzed. That's why you feel short of breath. Like you're full of fluid. It's not your lungs. But yeah, that's just my little tip to you guys. I hope I made sense. Like, just getting the information from, just gathering all the information you can before you waste your time and beat your feet and go give a treatment or go and attempt to give a treatment to a patient who says his penis hurts. Thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> I'm going to finish these curls and I'm going to see y'all a little later. Bye. All right, y'all. So it is the end of the night. It is 7.30 a.m. I got done with my shift. I made it. We're here. I have one day off before I go back for this weekend. So today is Friday. I'm not sure if I'm just going to end this vlog here or wait until like Saturday to end it. Or maybe just later on today. Maybe later on today sounds a little better. Um, Yeah, I had a good night. I actually had a good night. Just pretty steady. Um, I've pretty much gotten into a routine. Um, even... No matter no matter what unit I'm on, I pretty much follow the same routine just to make sure um, I'm managing my time correctly. I'm trying to get treatments um, on time, um, see everybody, actually assess everybody. I pretty much developed a good routine with that. So, yeah, I'm about to go home, do the same old, same old, y'all.